Electric fields could stop COVID-19 in its tracks. Imagine a world where we can neutralize airborne viruses by simply using invisible electric fields. Research led by Professor Martin Garcia has uncovered a surprising weakness in SARS-CoV-2, the virus responsible for COVID-19. His team's work reveals that the spike protein critical for allowing the virus to infect human cells, can be disrupted with electric fields. This discovery is paving the way for new technologies that combat airborne diseases. The spike protein is like a molecular key, allowing the virus to dock with human ACE2 receptors and gain entry into cells. Through computer simulations, Garcia's research shows that before it locks onto a cell, the spike protein is in a vulnerable state called a pre-fusion state. When exposed to a weak electric field, the protein loses its shape and its ability to bind to human cells. The research team discovered that all major variants Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta and Omicron show the same sensitivity to weak electric fields in their pre-fusion state. After the virus has attached to a cell, however, the spike protein changes its shape to a so-called post-fusion state. This state was found to be highly stable, even when exposed to far stronger electric fields. The researchers are using their discovery to develop a new type of air filter. Unlike HEPA filters, which trap viral particles, the team's electric filters, connected to a simple voltage source like a socket or a battery, would use fields to neutralise viruses by damaging their spike proteins. This innovation would consume far less energy, offering a sustainable and effective way to purify air in public spaces, schools and hospitals. The research also highlights why the spike protein is vulnerable when airborne. Like other viruses, SARS-CoV-2 relies on this unstable but flexible structure to maximise infectivity and evade immune responses. However, this feature makes it more vulnerable to external forces, such as electric fields. By unravelling the molecular changes caused by these fields, Garcia's simulations revealed how key regions of the spike protein undergo irreversible damage, rendering the virus harmless. With a patent already filed, this technology could soon move from theory to real-world application. Beyond SARS-CoV-2, the method could also work against other airborne viruses, such as influenza, potentially revolutionising how we fight airborne infectious diseases. By combining physics with biology, Garcia and his colleagues are offering a fresh perspective on pandemic preparedness. Their innovative use of electric voltage demonstrates the power of science to find elegant solutions to complex challenges. Thank you.